Hits it hard to center. I don't think that one's going to get run down. Three-run bomb. Liberty up by two. Zavadny, the three batter. When did, though, softball become, you know, such a big part of your life? When was it? I had to be six or seven. I remember playing on a really, you know, junky field, <laughs> but I loved it. I loved going to that field every day. Growing up in each age group, there was just something more to look forward to, you know, whether it was a cool uniform or, you know, a girl to look up to, whether it was my sister or another girl on the team. So there's four girls in the Zavadne family. Mm -hmm. You're the youngest. Yep. And there's a Vodney history in, in the Liberty program. Now, with you being the youngest, what have you learned? Yeah, it's, it's been hard. Um, you know, I've wanted. Really? Yeah, I mean, I've, <laughs> normally the youngest gets away with everything. That's you know? fair, right. <laughs> but, you know, I wanted to be the best, even though I was the youngest. Katie played here, um, so she graduated 2014. And um, she was like, Tori, you know, this is amazing. Like, the coaches are awesome. This brand new facility is being talked about. And I was like, oh, OK. You signed with Liberty and you come here and it's a completely different coaching staff than you signed with. What was the biggest challenge for you in, in that process? Yeah, well just, you know, getting to know the coaches. Right. And I know they were kind of the same way. They were going to be in their second year, so they're getting to know all of us. Um, so that was, you know, an interesting thing to come into, but it was more of, you know, they were open to so many things because they were ready to get this program, you know, where they want it to be. And now it's your senior year. The year I feel like everybody looks forward to. It's, it's going to be the year. And first conference series against Campbell, you're going in. It was the first inning. You know, walk me through exactly what happened and, you know, what was going through your mind? What did you feel? 0-2. Oh, well, it was a short ball. I was running towards it. And our second baseman, Amber Bishop, was running back. So I just stopped. Zavodny's not going to come up with it. Collides. And my leg just gave in. It completely gave out. And it was, it was weird because when Maggie, my trainer, got out there, my knee kind of relaxed. And I was like, maybe I'm OK. And then I got up, and my knee ended up giving out when I tried to jog. And so we knew that it was, you know, I had to come out of the game at the time. And then we got the MRI and got the results. You know, you hear this story, and it happens to so many athletes. But I feel like you really don't understand it until you experience it for yourself. Yeah. And, you know, I look down, and it, it sucks. You know, it's, it's terrible to look at it. but. I, the Lord's love is so overwhelming and there's a purpose for all this and there's a plan and I know that and my teammates are telling me every day, my coaches are encouraging me. I mean, people I don't really even know are reaching out to me and it's just amazing. And I will say, you know, I think everybody knows you for your big personality. If they see you in the dugout, they'll, they might, they may not, they might not see you, but they will hear you. <laughs> so knowing that you'll be in the dugout for the rest of the year, what legacy do you want to leave behind on this program? Because everyone wants to leave, you know, something behind. I look back and I realize all of the different teams I was on. And, you know, I was, I was always so loud and energetic and just the leader on that team. Whether I was, you know, doing, performing well or not, I was just the loudest one, constantly always yelling and talking. And that's just the joy that the Lord has given me in this sport. And I know there's going to be a purpose for this. And I'm excited for it, you know. Whether it's, you know, my testimony when I'm, I'm a coach, you know, that's awesome. If I, can, if I can positively affect someone 10 years from now just because of this, then I'll be at peace with what's going on. But, you know, now I've embraced that I have to be a different type of leader. I have to lead from the field. I, one of my coaches said, you know, you have to lead from your crutches. And, you know, I can do that. You know, that's my next 200 feet. That's my next goal is to mentor to my team, even from the bench.